I hope my pumpkin is carrying you. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Happy happy Halloween to you. Today is crafting day. I'm going to carve my pumpkin as shown there. I'm going to draw this picture that I showed earlier onto this pumpkin before carving. So if you want to see how I achieved that design looking in the first video, then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. I'm going to show you how I designed my pumpkin and so I hope you like this video. I'm not good with drawing I'm just going to try my best and then achieve the picture that I want as I know how I'm going to carve it so that's how it's looking I'm going to use my two knives and that spoon to scoop out anything so starting with I'm cutting out my eye first this design was inspired by Jack O'Lantern this was one of the scariest I think I saw online I saw a few more but they were a bit difficult for me to carve so I chose the one that could be easier for me to carve I love challenging myself with things trying things that I don't know and I can't do that's the reason why I picked this picture as it was quite a bit complicated looking but then I knew that I could do it because last year I did one that was really good my partner said it was really nice and I like it too even though my pumpkin itself is not good looking it has a lot of bumps sitting at the side of it which I mistakenly picked I should have picked a better looking pumpkin I finished buying it before I saw really good ones and still it's still a pumpkin so i just decided to go on with it anyway so here is my eye that i've cut out almost done with my eye i'm going to recut it again and look make it look bigger and so i'm cutting out the inner part that is my the teeth of my pumpkin that i've started carving i'm going to carve in like double carving so that it will be like a bigger space between all the teeth from the bottom to the top you see that when i finish you have the bottom teeth hanging up and then the lower teeth also showing up i'm taking time to do this as it takes a while to finish it the pumpkins are a bit soft from the inside so you have to be careful when you are cutting through else you just mess it all up and you end up throwing it away so you have to do this gently with care but i've speed up the video so that it doesn't look slow and it doesn't take all the time in the world just to make sure it all goes very quick so i'm still carving my teeth out going through the left upper part of the teeth this is all like very slow work it takes me about uh, one hour to finish carving the whole pumpkin as i have to do all the teeth and make sure they look the way i want it perfect before i'll go and cut out the top when i say the top i mean the stalk showing like green at the top of the pumpkin that's where i'm going to cut out there you are going to pass your candle through and it's going to look like a cover of a pot so the whole thing is going to look like a pot with a cover at the top of it that's what this thing is going to look like as the inside is going to be empty hollow everything will be scooped out of it i wanted my pumpkin to have a little bit of a nose but then i decided not to as the design i picked has no nose it has only teeth with two eyes and scary looking face that's all it has so i'm not going to change anything on it i'm just going to go with the picture as it shows so i'm still on carving when you're doing the whole process it looks like a little bit of a mess it looks like nothing like you're not doing anything at all until you finish the whole design before you're going to see how good it looks the teeth are taking a little bit of time i think because it's quite a lot of it and i have to take out the side of both from the bottom to the upper part of it i have to take all the sides out and make the teeth stand on its own that's why i keep going in and over and over and over to make sure the spaces are big as you can see i'm cutting the side out again this will let the teeth stand on its own and give it a space the knife i'm using to carve this is the smallest one as i'm not sure i'm even going to use the longest one that is among it the little one is doing all the job it's able to go through all the little spaces that i want so i'm not sure i need the big one again i'm just going to use this knife to do the whole process of it my scary pumpkin teeth are still not looking the way i want them to look standing on it also i'm still going in and then cutting some extra bits from the top out of it to make it look a little bit like a, a triangle there so now i've finished the teeth side i'm going to go into the upper going something like uh, an ear i don't know what it is <laughs> the design is weird so when i finish carving this the whole thing looked like an animal at the left and then right side of it it was a very weird looking scary design really and the whole process is a bit 
hard and complicated than I thought it would be as the picture looked a bit easy but it wasn't actually it wasn't easy at all so I have to be careful doing all this especially going up this part is a bit uh, weird as you have to be careful not to spoil the pumpkin or cut yourself so I'm carving this one like double-sided I carve it from the side that I draw and then I will have to go and cut the other side that I did not draw to this will give it a space this will give the design that I'm making a space to stand on its own as the inside parts look like a bent kind of like ear going in or a horn something like that so i have to be very careful and not to cut myself or hurt myself either i decided to show all the steps that i did to achieve this design of pumpkin as you can see i did it all myself this is me carving the pumpkin it's not anyone me filming it and then carving it that part is almost ready i'm going to do the other part of camera to make this quicker so i finished carving the whole side of the pumpkin the teeth i think are okay for me so i'm just recarving the eye part of it to make it straight and look a little bit bigger to allow more space for you to look through it that's why i'm still going into the eye just give it some more bit of space that's all so i'm almost done with my carving when i finish this whole thing i'm going to clean all the pen marks on the pumpkin as to make it look dirty and make the design also disappear so i'm going to make sure it's clean i'm almost done with the whole of the carving so now i'm cutting the top of my pumpkin that's going to be the lid that i'm going to pass my candle through so that's how it looks like round i'm going to cut around that circle make sure it's carefully cut so that it doesn't cut round into my little design that i made or destroy it that i'm almost done all this hard work will go into vain so i'm just going to take the lid off and then scoop out all the seeds and things inside there is quite a lot of mess inside the pumpkin itself it's quite a lot of mess inside the pumpkin i'm going to remove all so that you see what is inside it it has a lot of seeds actually last year the seeds that were inside i used them for a sauce i dried them up and then i i i broke out the seeds and then took the fruit that was inside i use it for a sauce in my country ghana we have some kind of little spice that look like this kind of pumpkin thing so i use it for that sauce and it looked so so good and was tasting so good that is how the lid of my pumpkin looks so i'm going to scoop out all the other rubbish that's inside there is quite a lot of it that is left in quite a lot lot of mess i have to scoop out and i have to be very very careful doing this process as you can see i've cut out all the teeth and things else there pumpkin will fall or break so now that i've finished everything i put my candle in and then i'm going to show you how it looks like as it's not yet dark so i'm going to show you how it look now before when it is dark so this is how it look right now and then the next one i'm going to show you how it looks when it is very very dark a little bit scary this is really beautiful looking and i think these kids are going to get scared this time more than last year oh this is how it looks as it's very very dark very very scary looking this is the pumpkin that i created for my halloween this year i should have kept a picture of the one i did last year i think i will look for it and put it up here to show you this is very very scary looking <laughs> the eye the teeth are all very scary i'm going to show you from the top that that's how it looks like that's the candle inside it all look a bit like weird like red or yellowish kind of like like a sun yeah it looked like the sun color combining of red and the yellow with everything black inside it look really beautiful this is really really nice so what do you think about my pumpkin design and carving did i do well or not <laughs> leave your comments below let's have fun and so happy halloween to you all i hope you enjoy your halloween at home safe and all the fun that it comes with with all the kids and everything i hope you enjoy your halloween 2020 and have some fun thank you so much for watching bye